Welcome back to Gold Rush RP. So, if you guys have watched the last episode, you'd know that we have finally picked up a very large shipment of the ammo we sell. And Sorry. if we check in here on our safety deposit box, uh, we now have, of course, 45 rounds of high velocity rifle, 35 rounds of shotgun slugs, and 25 rounds of high velocity repeater, which should sell for quite the pretty penny. So what we're going to do is probably start our day heading over to Strawberry as we have a lot of our clients over there. Uh, we're going to try and see if we can sell to Frankie, of course, the gunsmith. We also need to figure out what's been going on with him because we have not been able to get in contact with him for a couple days. Uh, last we heard, his grandson had been kidnapped and he was dealing with multiple gangs kind of going after him and harassing him. Hopefully we can find him today uh, as we have some info to hopefully help him out. And just, of course, we want to know what's been going on with him. Make sure he's all right. So uh, let's go grab our horse and then i'll probably see you guys when we're over in strawberry hopefully we can sell off a decent amount of this ammo uh we also still need to get in contact with selena again as it's been very hard to find her so we can get our horse spread as it is getting quite old and we don't want it to die before we obviously have another one ready so again let's go grab our horse and i will see you guys once we're over in the town of strawberry hopefully either finding frankie and catching up with him selling him some ammo or of course probably talking to the cherokee see if they need any ammo as well and then we'll probably just go on from there and uh yeah i'll see you guys when we're over in strawberry hopefully everything goes well on the trip there and uh hopefully we can sell this ammo off i'll see you guys in just a little bit and back over in strawberry let's see um i did try and talk to some of frank's friends on the way over and it seems he's not been around for a couple days so I'm not sure what's going on with him. I know he was getting very frustrated with all the stuff going on. And obviously the law not really helping at all. Same with the marshals. And I get frustrated as well. Hopefully he's still around though. I just haven't seen him in quite a while, which is quite sad. But let's uh, see. It doesn't look like Frank's going to be around any of the gunsmiths. So we might want to head over to the Cherokee. Actually, let's check the door. I usually they put who is working. Okay, yeah. It doesn't look like anyone's working right now, unfortunately. So I guess we're going to head over to the basin. Uh, now, I've had very bad luck with actually catching the uh, Cherokee. So hopefully we have slightly better luck today. And uh, I'll see you guys once we're over at the basin. Uh, if there's no one there, it's going to kind of suck. But we'll probably just go on from there. Um, I think if there is no one there, we might start heading a little bit westward. Since we haven't really made too many connections over in Tumbleweed and Armadillo in quite a while. And haven't really visited. And there might be some people out there looking to buy some of this specialty ammo. Uh, we're going to stay away from the Mexicans. Because apparently they did a lot of bad stuff. Once they found out our supplier had ammo. So we're going to try and not sell to them at the moment. Because uh, that just is a huge risk of us getting robbed by them. And uh, probably having a lot worse stuff happen as he did so let's not do that but uh, again let's head to the basin hopefully there's some natives there if they're not then we'll probably just start heading towards like the tumbleweed area see if we can kind of see what's been going on i think tumbleweed is completely dead but we could try and see if they still are working on that or what's been going on with it either way i will see you guys in a little bit once we're hopefully at the basin and hopefully there's finally some natives over there and we're over at the basin uh doesn't seem like any so far oh no we seem to have horrible luck catching the cherokee lately I'm, I'm not really too sure why let's have a quick look at the camp though oh no there's animals yeah they're definitely not around i have no idea what's been up with the cherokee lately I've, i think i've just been around at the wrong hours to catch them at or something because we've not been able to get in contact with them yeah there's no horses here and i'm guessing there is no one yeah there's no one here all right well bad luck bad luck for sure in that case then what i think we are going to do is if we pull up our map uh the problem is we don't have too many close connections with people in armadillo and tumbleweed so we have to be very careful about who we sell to because obviously if we sell to the wrong person everything can go downhill very very fast but we did used to have some good friends over in tumbleweed and armadillo and maybe <laughs> Even though it's been quite a bit, maybe some of them are still around. So I think we're going to do is head over to Armadillo, see if we can find any old friends there. If not, head into Tumbleweed, see if Tumbleweed is even a thing anymore. Because since we last left there after we tried to make it uh, that more of an outlaw town, I have no idea if they actually tried to improve it or what has happened since then. Actually, I think we can check if this is sold. Okay, so it seems like people have bought stuff over here. Okay, so I believe the gunsmith is still for sale. The saloon is still for sale, so I'm guessing that the town is still dead. 
uh eventually one day maybe someone will revive tumbleweed i mean honestly if we get the money for it we could definitely move over there uh, and try and start something over there but obviously we do not have the money yet hopefully we will soon though if we keep selling the ammo like we have been but again let's uh, start heading a little bit more westward and start off in armadillo and i guess probably head to tumbleweed after see what's happening see if we can find any old friends anyone who needs to obviously buy some ammo and hopefully we can get some new clients i will see you guys once we're over there in just a little bit hopefully we can have some good luck and we have ever made our way over to armadillo i think there's quite a couple people leaving there you're all right fella bye howdy howdy oh. howdy little little Z, disconcerting is it is is this a veal is it howdy oh howdy i remember i met you over well, hey you showed me the little show going on over there little the other show. day yeah that little <laughs> demonstration that they had Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> what y'all up to? Uh, shit. We just ride it out, and uh, they helped us catch these two mustangs. About to take them oh, back to nice, the town. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, uh, we're yeah. doing nothing. We're just, we're just observing. That's all. <laughs> oh man, uh, I, I got some wolves on some birds. That's about it. They, I got attacked by a bear earlier today. They're a little scary. God damn. Where you headed to now? Uh, I'm heading towards Armadillo. I'm gonna go see if anything the hell is happening in Tumbleweed nowadays. Yeah. All uh, right, you take care. What was your name again, by the way, Philip? Cass. 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 Okay, yeah. okay. I know when we met, I couldn't. <laughs> it was, we were a little, we're little, little in the middle of something. <laughs> in the middle of middle of something. Somebody was getting hung in Blackwater, y'all. Uh, no, strawberry. 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 Yep. Yep, yep. And then, uh, yeah, they didn't go through mm -hmm. with it. It was just mm -hmm. a show of. I don't know. Power. They're scaring him, I think, or some shit. Yeah, they was trying to scare the criminal. He was a repeat offender, I guess. So. Oh, they're trying to trying to hang him again today. Oh, really? the same one. <laughs> same one. Oh my. Uh, damn. <laughs> that's that's the guy that was after Cornbread. Obviously, didn't oh. scare him enough. Oh, yeah, I guess they did. I guess so. I'm actually usually around Valentine. Oh, that's okay, where most okay. of my business is done. Yeah, but I try to hit up Strawberry every now and then. All right, I, all I right. like to go see the gunsmiths. They good people. Hey, um, Mr. Bobby, uh, since, you're in, uh, since you're in Valentine, you ever see a uh, Selena? Django's on these films. Miss uh, Selena, the horse trainer. Hey, I yeah. did. Actually, she don't really come up as much as you think, but she has been up here, up there lately, though. I've she been, I've been trying to get there. this bread for the last week, and I just haven't been able to get find her. Uh, try Rose. Last I saw, she was back home out in Rose. That, Rose that's good. I mean, yesterday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just saw her in Rose yesterday, actually. Really? Think, okay, okay. I'll probably check over there then. That's just Dust. a freaking long ways away. I think Dusty <laughs> Grains does carbs too. Who does? Dusty oh, Grains. Yeah, oh wait, Dusty from Turkey or a different Dusty? Uh, maybe different. He's uh, he's the one that sells that man mill. Okay, okay. Where is he located around? Uh, Blue Water Marsh. Where the oh. hell is that? It's uh, in Lemoyne. Yeah. Oh boy, oh, back all swamp. the way over back there. Back all the way over the Oh yo. damn it. All right, I might try that later, but that's a freaking yeah. long journey. All right, well, y'all yeah. take care and stay safe, and uh, I'll all see right. y'all around. All right, all right now. All right, y'all take, care, right, you'll take care. Take care. Have a good night. Bye bye. Cass, honestly, or Kaz, or however you sell his name, might honestly be a contender. We've only met him a couple times, but he seems like a really chill dude, so honestly, he might be someone. That we might want to talk to in the future i just want to learn and know him a little bit more in depth before we even start talking about that again we're trying to be very secretive with our ammo business but he does seem like a pretty chill guy seems like he has a lot of friends as well so he might be able to help us but for now we're just going to keep him as a friend and uh, possibly in the future if we learn and we talk to him more we might offer him the stuff about the ammo does seem like the town is freaking dead in armadillo um last i checked uh or at least last when we were around here there seemed to be armadillo was quite popular seems like it's gotten quite quiet since we were last here the bar doesn't even look like it's open uh yeah i'm doubting we're gonna find anything in tumbleweed but let's just head over there for a quick check for old times say just since it's been a while and then of course they did tell us there was a horse trainer all the way either in Rhodes or uh near saint denis and honestly we, we just might have to go there if we're not gonna be able to get the ammo done this episode i want to at least get one of the two things we've been trying to get done for the last couple episodes done which would be of course getting our horse bread we really just need to get that done at this point it's been way too long and i've been putting it off for way too long so i will promise you guys right now we're going to either sell some ammo or get our horse bread this episode that is the ultimate goal and uh it's been the goal for like the last two episodes and i've been a little sick i'm not being able to get it done for you guys so we're going to get it done no matter what in this episode even if this one comes out a little late we're getting that damn done but uh, let's head over to tumbleweed see if there's even anything over there probably isn't then we're probably gonna have to make the big journey back over to lemoyne over in the east 
Either way, though, let's go check out Tumbleweed real quick. Alrighty, we are back in Tumbleweed. This is definitely new. What? Well, I have no idea. Is this even on the map? Oh, the bank. Okay, so they completely... The bank is no longer that little teeny thing over there. It seems they made a whole entire new bank. How's it going? Doing good. How you doing? Doing all right. I just uh, haven't been over in Tumbleweed in a while. Stuff been going on over here. To be honest, nothing. I've never did. Oh, okay. I haven't seen no one. Okay, okay. Last I just saw the bank that I built. This thing is nice. Yeah, it's just out of place. Last time I was bit. down here, it was just... Fucking people were robbing us so then they threatened us and then there was a shootout. Okay, so it's back to business as usual over here, I see. Yeah. Jesus, okay. This is actually a pretty cool bank. Looks pretty basic, but pretty nice. Yeah, okay, so it seems like I guess Tumbleweed's back to how it normally was, just kind of being not a very safe place. So uh, we should probably get out of here pretty fast then. Uh, it seems like it's how it usually was before, of course, anything got started. But let's quickly see if there is anything else going on. It looks like for the most part, it's business as usual. We could check the bar, see if anyone's actually... Is anyone in there? Doesn't look like anyone's like staffing the bar anymore. So I'm guessing Tumbleweed kind of just went back to how it used to be. I mean, there are a couple of people here and there, but it seems like Tumbleweed is pretty much back to being kind of a dead town. Which is kind of sad to see. We almost had it thriving for a little bit back there, but uh, it is what it is. The new bank is cool, but it doesn't seem like anyone actually lives out here. You know, maybe one day, once we make like a couple, a couple hundred, maybe a million dollars, and you know, don't worry about it, just a ton of money, maybe we'll take over Tumbleweed again, or at least try. Could be fun once we actually have like an actual good amount of money, like 30,000 or some crazy amount like that. You know, maybe buy up the saloon and actually try and run it white, right? Try and run it like an actual town instead of an outlaw town. Maybe even become the mayor of it. You never know. There's definitely a lot of opportunities over in Tumbleweeds. It's still kind of like an unestablished town. And it's kind of been that way since I really joined the county, except for when it was part of the union. That was when it was kind of doing well. But besides that, Tumbleweeds kind of just been this off town in the middle of nowhere for quite a while. While. Maybe one day we could change that. But for now, we're going to make the huge journey over to St. Denis and Rhodes. See if we can finally find a horse trainer, which I am definitely determined to do today. And uh, I'll see you once we're over there. It's going to take us quite a bit, but thankfully it'll be instant for you guys. See you guys again in uh, just a second or two. Alrighty, we are finally over in Rhodes. Took quite a while to get here. Quite the journey, but hopefully it will pay off. So... First of all, we're going to look in roads for, I believe, um, of course, Selena, if we can find her. And then I think, I believe there is another breeder that apparently lives, as we were told uh, by Kaz, I believe, or Kaz, I'm not sure which one it is, uh, that he lives around the Blue Water Marsh. So I'm guessing in around here, so we might be able to find him. Although, if uh, our luck so far has shown anything, we probably won't. But let's see if we're able to find anyone. Start looking around a bit. Help us out with a nice little meal there, so I figured we should do it. Howdy. Oh my, how's it going? It's good. Howdy, howdy. It's been a little bit, been a little bit. It's, yeah, it's been a while again. Are you um, still uh, doing the horse train? Yes, I moved to Saint Denis. I don't, I don't oh, work okay. out of Pelican anymore. Uh, yeah. Any chance you know any uh, horse breeders? Because I've been looking for Selena for the last four days and I haven't been able to find her. Best horse breeder in the country. Oh my. Any chance you bleed uh, Gypsy Cobbs? Uh, basically, I mean, I could breed anything you want, really. Uh, that's never an issue. Uh, the issue is uh, I don't have a, a gypsy cob to breed with a okay. gypsy cob. That's the problem that I've been having. Okay. I need to breed. Uh, I mean, I could breed any cross, but you're going to get a 50 50 shot of, uh, of At anything. At this point, she's 27, so I just need to get it done. Well, what else do you have that I could breed her with? Is it a male or female? A uh, female. I'll be damned. Oh, you know what? I might have a male. A male coming out shortly. I would probably, honestly, I wouldn't mind breeding it with the Hungarian when it pops out. Mm -hmm. If we, if we get, if we get a uh, Hungarian male, also, I can actually check right now. I got a baby popping out right now. This very yeah, second. but it's only enough if it's a baby. We need an adult one. If the, Unless if the dad, male is breedable. yeah, if the dad remained fertile, I could put him to cook right now. Oh, okay. You want to go check that if you don't mind? No, I would love to go check oh, that. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I actually. Um, Miss Quinn, we'll do you want to oh, stay oh, here or do you I'll want me? I'll 
Thanks. I can just wait here if you want. I'm probably right, fine. Right. Whatever works you, for you. Okay. If you want to hang out with them, I'll go check that out real quick, and I'll be right back for you. Then. All right. Thank sounds... you very much. Yeah, yeah, trust me, definitely. I've been looking for days, so thank you. What's oh, that? no, I got you covered, man. All righty. Let's finally, finally, we're getting some luck. Uh, so that dusty guy is the one that I believe Cass told us about when we went over to Armadillo. Thankfully, we didn't have to go all the way over to where apparently he resides, and I think he said uh, the Blue Water Marsh. Thankfully, we were just able to run into him here and our old friend Quinn that we've known for probably probably months at this point uh thankfully she is also a horse trainer so if we get this bread we get a new horse we might have to have quinn train it as well and then we'll be pretty much all set which would be very nice uh either quinn to train it or one of the cherokees uh as we are very close with them as well but i think we've known quinn for quite a bit longer but i think again we're just gonna wait for uh that dusty guy to get back and then hopefully he has a horse that's ready to be bred of our horse we can finally get that done and then whenever i think he said that it should be done by tomorrow tomorrow we can start getting that horse trained up and then when our moo passes away we will have a fresh perfectly new fully trained horse ready to go so again let's uh wait for him to get back and i'll see you whenever that happens and hopefully we're gonna be able to get this thing bred up finally only took us a couple episodes and over a couple week or two but uh we finally found someone i'll see you guys in just a little bit was that him yes there he is wow this is what we're looking at there not done yet they're oh, almost done no. okay they're almost done they're uh i mean honestly i expect them to be done because we put them we put them to breed uh what a long time ago yeah well over six hours ago and that's mm -hmm. to my knowledge uh the amount of time it takes so it's uh it's right there on the cusp of being completed um i think right now they're just cleaning up the little mess that they made but the babies mm -hmm. should be delivered very soon okay, um, okay the thing is as soon as it's done the second it's done and uh, i get the report indicating that the uh, baby is successfully delivered I'll let that point know if the father is still fertile. Oh boy, let's hope so. All right, we'll uh, do you want to no, okay. meet back here in a little bit then? Uh, we could do that. I mean, that's never an issue with me at all. Okay, uh, if okay. any, if I'm not here, I'm at, I'm at Camasa Ranch. All right, well, I'll see y'all the ranch in a little bit then, Queen. You take care. Yeah, take care. All right, sweet. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to get a gypsy cop, but if we get lucky and the horse that he is currently ble breeding stays fertile, we should be able to breed it with another one finally get this over with it has been quite the painful process trying to get this damn horse bred but uh either way i think i'll see you guys in just a second or two we're just gonna wait around 40 45 minutes and then head up to i believe kamasa ranch which should be right here not very far away or actually wait where is it yeah it is right here okay so right up there not bad at all so uh, i will see you guys in just a little bit when we're finally getting this bread sorry about how long it took it only took us like two or three episodes but we're finally getting it done i'll see you guys once we are over at the ranch in just a second or two and we are back it's been a little bit more of a commands kamasa ranch there's scar over there it's funny seeing him here he's usually in strawberry but he should be here and we should be able to find out if the horse he just bred is going to stay fertile or not and of course if we're able to breed it with ours or not hopefully we run into some good luck so we're gonna head over to uh where saint denis oh yeah yeah i'll tell you how to get there man this is uh so this is the whole ranch i'll show you around here real quick okay, we got yeah. pen number one to our left normally we got a whole bunch of beef cattle in here there's one aggressive ox is it oh, yeah, he's normally him. an ox or a bull oh yep, i see him yeah he doesn't look too happy you know we've had a couple people get impaled by him this is pen number two to the right hand side then number three is on the right hand side of that uh out oh, of Camaso okay. ranch we specialize with ranch produce that would be milk eggs cheese butter cream you know pretty much anything that we can make at the ranch itself oh, yeah, yeah. we have a couple uh recipes here that make it a little bit of a special place they belong to a great great grandmother uh some long lost family man there ended up sending to me in a telegram and uh we've been blessed ever since so we've oh, been nice. uh spreading some of her love even though she's no longer with us no yeah, it's nice uh, to see someone uh, running this place because it used to be quite one that run down a while ago yeah yeah no we're definitely happy we were in blue water marsh for about a month but uh yeah that's why i was told i could find you so i'm glad i saw you over in the uh, roads or else i'd probably be heading over there and not being able to find you oh man i'm very happy you came to find me as well yeah that our old one went up for sale we ended up seeing this one for sale we needed the space it's a lot bigger the uh vantage is a lot better since it's on a hill so we're able to nice kind location. of see everything around us you know we got a lot of friends out here uh the mohicans are really good friends of mine and uh I, I believe that's still the only tribe i haven't met actually oh really hey. i was just with them they actually used to paddle down in canoes all the time and uh come by their produce from the ranch oh really 
It was a very beautiful sight. I'd be down there fishing, and all of a sudden, I see five <laughs> beacons coming down via canoe. That's I mean, nice. I very much appreciated the uh, experiences that we had together. Oh, so, yeah. You know, very good friends. You just ride right into any one of these right here. I'll wait for you right here, partner. Oh, that's not the gate. That's the gate. There we go. Oh, uh, wait, so are you checking right now? Yes, sir. Yes, please, sir. I'm actually going to take me. a quick look and see. Uh, the big thing right now is finding out if they're unbreeding. So that's what we're going for first. Come on. Hopefully this thing is breedable still because we... Oh, they're done. Okay. And is it breedable? Is he still fertile? Please. It's going to take, it's gonna take like two or three more minutes to find out. Oh, my. The white is killing me, Dusty. <laughs> oh, boy. It Hopefully it's fertile. Well, partner. Uh, well, oh, let's you're going to love it. You're well, going to love it. So let's uh, hope. The, reason I'm, the reason I'm hopeful is if it is a male, okay? I mean, sorry, if, if the male is still breedable, I think you would really like the 50-50 chance of getting either the gypsy or the Hungarian. Is the Hungarian is that is Hungarian one of the big chunky one, right? Um, I believe it's a little taller than the gypsy, but it's a little slimmer as well. They're a lot faster. They're uh, okay. They behave like a Breton, where they're kind of just uh, they're like stern horses. They don't really get agitated by gunshots, and they don't get okay, agitated okay. by animals as often. So they're very uh. I mean, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, they're very convenient. Listen, I have fallen in love with the Hungarian. I really have. Right. Well, okay, okay. Stop getting my hopes up and let's make sure it's breedable first, oh, okay? Because you're going to crush my dreams if I hear it's not. <laughs> okay, I got the baby. Okay, okay. So we're going to find out. Let me let me make sure I got the baby checked off on all the health. Beep, beep, beep. Make sure she's all good and healthy. Take your time. All right, we're about to find uh, out. All right, let's see if the certificate of police. mom and dad Please? are... Please? Come on, give me all the luck in the world. Fertile, 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 please. Oh my god. Is it? We can breed it. Yes. Okay, let's get this it. shit done. All right, give me your gypsy. Give me if your it... gypsy. All right, all right. Do you have another horse to ride or do you need one? I have a loaner I could give you if you need one. Um, how long will it take? Uh, so I should have this done. I just need to calculate real quick. Take your time, take your time. I would say by tomorrow by 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Eastern starts. Oh, okay. Could I, uh, could I just pick it up then? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it should be done. It should be done by then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's send this horse over to him real quick. Let's do that. Boom. There you go. All right, follow All me right. real quick. What I want you to do is, I want you to hop on a fully trained version of that same exact horse. I want you to just sprint it down the road and make sure you like that file because I would hate it if you hated it and then it came out as that one instead of the gypsy. Now, I have no no reservation or doubt that you're not going to love it you're going to see and you're going to feel the lungs on this thing you're going to okay, see the okay. speed on it and you're going to say you know what i would actually i actually hope it comes out like that so give me one second I'm right there wait, wait, wait. so he's going to let us test drive i believe the one that we might get again it's 50 50 whether we get the gypsy cob or this one but uh, honestly i'll probably be happy with both as long as we have a freaking horse to ride not too particular about it being the fastest oh, horse around that are both breedable oh sorry Mom and dad are both breedable. It's oh, great. Nice. So this beautiful horse right here, Miss Queen, named Ariel. Go ahead and just hop on Ariel and sprint her down right there to the corner and come right back and just give me the thumbs all up right, and I'll, I'll right. get the price and then uh That's a big horse. Oh look. Yeah, it's a, it's a oh, very, my. very good horse. Okay, very okay. I'll be right back then. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so the lungs on this are way nicer than ours. Uh obviously we can't see how fast it is while we're in town. But it looks pretty damn nice. The stamina looks a lot nicer. Let's see the turning. Ooh, the turning. Uh, is, I don't know if it seems the same, but it, the horse definitely seems quite quicker to go. Uh, let's see how Oh, it jumps a lot. Jumps a lot faster than ours. Again, this all could just be me thinking it. Let's try and take it out the city bounds for a second and see how fast it is, though. So it seems pretty fast. I think if we take it over this fence, let's see how it does the fence. Oh, okay. No problems. All right, honestly, it seems pretty good. A lot better stamina than our Gypsy Cobb, so I'd be happy to get one of these. And it looks quite majestic, I'm not going to lie, especially this red one. I'm not sure what we're going to be getting for color, but this looks really nice. Uh, if we could get a red one like this, like the Crimson, I'm guessing this is super expensive, though, because this thing looks really nice. But, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to be breeding them, and hopefully we'll get it either one. I'm kind of wanting to get this one just so we can change up our horse a little bit, since we've had our Gypsy Cobb for quite a while now. But let's give this horse back and start the breeding process. All right, so you're looking at 1450. Oh, okay, okay. One thousand four hundred and fifty dollars, and then if you were to uh, train it and it comes out 
and it comes out um obviously you're gonna have a, a horse that's under five years old mm -hmm. uh, so it's gonna be considered a baby meaning i can hand it over um at one uh, you would literally be receiving this horse at one the only issue is with the horse being one uh, it's you know your other horse might pass away before this one turns five uh, which is of rideable age okay but when it comes to training practices if you train it as a baby you don't pay full price here they charge 700 bucks this at this this location you train it anywhere you want but okay, if you okay. get it trained up as a baby i'll give you the prices here i think it's somewhere between six and seven hundred dollars you take the 1450 add six or seven hundred to that it's still under market value for a fully trained baby okay, okay for the red it makes sense if it comes out red you know mm -hmm. at 1450 for a gypsy well no because you pay somewhere upwards of two grand for a gypsy as well Fully trained, fully trained if i'm yeah. correct yeah so yeah you would be walking out of here uh either making if you wanted to sell that baby which i know you're not you would make 200 on it if it was red two to 300 if it was red you would make you would even out if it was a uh, just a regular gypsy at okay well i'm a gambling man so let's hope for uh let's hope for the hungarian then <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy to see that you actually like it it's uh it's i really do passion. it's a uh, it's a lot different a lot different all it's right, so uh, do you want me to just meet you after the storm? I'll get you I'll all paid you right up, here. and then hey, okay, perfect, perfect. I'll meet you right here. I'll go with you to the bank. I'll get the fourteen fifty. I'll come back here with you, and I will give you that confirmation that they're actually both um, mating in the process of mating, and I, right. I have to get it done quick. All right, well, I'll see you after. Uh, I'll see you after the storm. Then. Sounds good. To, sounds good to me, partner. I'm happy I can help you out, man. Well, yeah, thank you very much. You have no Definitely. idea how long it took to get this done. Oh no, no, I really appreciate the business. <laughs> of course, I'll see you in a second or two. All right, brother. All right, so the research about to happen, then we'll go pay him the 1450. It's going to be pretty much all our money. But now that we have the ammo, we should be able to sell that as well. Either way, though, I will see you guys in just a second once we're finally paying them, getting the breeding process started. And uh, yeah, probably ending it there. It's been quite a bit trying to get this done. Glad we finally are. All righty, we are back. Should be here any second. Oh, there he is. Howdy. There you are. How you doing, partner? You want to head to the bank? I'll go oh, let's you real go. Quick. It'll be it. Mind giving me a ride as I have no horse. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Oof. Damn, I really got I got really lucky finding this one because no breeder specializes in this horse either. So, considering that nice. everyone has uh, impeded uh, friendly friendly on my territory with the Bretons, I feel like they've become somewhat oversaturated after uh, I decided to bring my business out uh, east. Well, yeah, I'm a. Uh... Not the best on my horse types, but I don't think I've seen this one. At least not this coat. This coat is this coat is crazy on this thing. Oh yeah, it's magnificent. It's like uh, I don't even know what color to call it. It's called the uh, liver chestnut. Okay, okay. Well, it has real such nice. good definition. I mean, exactly. In the, chest, and the sun, nice it's crazy. She's beautiful. I got really lucky. Oh yeah. All right, so let's grab the money for him. Real quick, have some gator gumbo. Howdy, sir. Oh, howdy. So, fourteen fifty, Boom. And then, let's give it to him in a money clip. All right, your pocket's all good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All righty. Fourteen fifty, right? Yes, sir. On the dot, not a penny there more. There you go. Trust me, I ain't got enough more money to uh, give you a penny more. Uh, you, are you not going to put it in the bank? No, I have to purchase the, uh, I have to purchase all the supplies oh, okay. right now. Okay. So, hey. No one's really robbing straight, straight back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, what gun is that? Oh, it's the Navy. I had it tricked oh. out a little bit ago. That's a very nice gun. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll get, uh, I'll get my guns done on, up only uh, for, uh, you know, important things. Oh, that's interesting. Me too. Like, every gun has a story? Exactly. That's how I have mine. Oh, shit. Me too, man. I don't, I don't get them customized unless they have a story. You have to earn it, yeah. Ex yeah. Okay, I'm glad we're on the same train of thought. Do you, you know Frank? You know Frank um, Devlin? Yeah, Devlin, Devlin. Oh, that's like my father. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he's not my blood father, but he's like my father figure. I really don't know my father, but he's oh, uh, okay. raised me. Yeah, he, uh, he helped me out a lot. Really? Mm -hmm. I've known him for six, seven months, uh, five, six, seven months, oh, somewhere around Oh, my right God. Now. Well, look, the, the ranch itself, right, is called Devlin and Grain Co. Yeah. Frank Devlin and his two sons, uh, Michael and Jack Devlin. Uh, their sons are like my brothers. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, I'm glad to hear. Yeah, he's uh, he's always been helpful for me. We've been good friends Shit. for a while. Are you really looking for him? I have been. I've been a little bit worried about him. I was just him. with him. Really? Is he, is he all right? That's all I really need to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, uh, you know, he's he's, he's, he's 
thing though he's just hanging out you know wait i just uh last i heard he wasn't doing too well i just want to make sure he was all right if you see him tell him uh zaviel said hope he's doing good oh yeah definitely man hey and if you're uh if, if you're good to frank uh we, should, we could have a little talk about that something after his oh yeah mind. definitely Maybe. definitely all righty so we're gonna let him take care of the whole breeding thing uh he should be breeding them then i believe tomorrow we will be able to go and pick them up which will be very nice as we will now have uh, obviously our gypsy call back for another couple days before it passes away unfortunately and by that time we should be able to have our baby all trained up and pretty much ready to go and have her for a long long time or him whatever it comes out as um so i'm very excited to see how this goes also he said uh because both the horses are fertile and it's being bred the horse that comes out of this should also be fertile so if we want to we can again get it bred later on in this life if we want to or breed it here and there for a little bit of profit uh but right now we really don't have too much money we need to sell off this ammo and i think we're also going to talk to him about the ammo since he said uh frank's basically his dad uh obviously they seem very close and he seems like a good guy we might as well talk to him about it as we are in need of clients and of course if he's good friends of frank that's all that really matters to us i definitely trust him at that point but i guess we will see what happens i'll uh we'll probably talk to him about the ammo he might be interested possibly you know you gotta, de gotta defend the ranch i guess uh and once he gets these things starting to be bred we should be good we're gonna give him some time and i'll see you guys once we're talking to him about the ammo again our horses should be all bred and we should be getting our new one tomorrow or at least getting ours back tomorrow and then i think we might leave the baby horse with them to get it trained up so either way, I'll see you guys in just a little bit once we're talking to him about, uh, hopefully, a little bit of our business. So again, uh, I, I, you're one of Frank's boys, so I, I can trust you right with anything. Oh, I'm, I'm, he'll tell you, I'm his son. Oh, okay, okay, that's, that's what matters. Um, so, yeah. I, uh, a lot of business that I'm in, um, I deal with uh, specialty types of ammo, in a sense. So, okay. if you uh, or any of your uh, constituents ever need any, you just let me know. I would uh, appreciate if you did not mention my name. Uh, but if you know you know anyone who needs some, uh, make sure to you know have them tell you, and then uh, I could of course get that for them. Maybe even give you a little bit on top for helping me out. Okay. Or if you're looking and, uh, for any yourself. So you you you're the so you've been the one giving it to him. Yes, sir. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, I've been getting some from him actually. <laughs> if that's if they came from me. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Okay, perfect, perfect. But perfect. I haven't been able to get in contact with him for a while. I have a pretty large supply at the moment, but uh, again, okay. he's been impossible to get in contact with the last week or so. Would that be um, the three types that I'm aware of? That would uh, be uh, the slugs, the high velocity, uh, and then high velocity for another weapon as well. Is uh, what I carry on currently. It's a rifle and repeater. Correct? Yes, sir. Repeater That's what I'm okay. carrying. And the and slugs for the shot at guns okay fantastic and uh well you know all right i'll see uh i'll go ahead and i'll i'll, I'll make i'll have some conversations with some people. Oh, yeah i mean i'll you be know, seeing you that's... tomorrow anyway so if you if okay, you come perfect. up with anything or you need anything just let me know okay okay and how much uh how much uh you charge oh uh, give me one second to think of that all right so we're gonna tell them the ammo real quick but we've already been through this 10 times so we'll skip through it high velocity revolver 50 High velocity wait, wait, wait. you said oh. revolver yes you can also get high velocity rounds for the revolver and they uh, hit quite hard wait you're kidding me no sir you have those i do not have any in stock i just have a rifle and repeater since those are the most popular <gasps> um but i could get some uh, p uh revolver in stock if you would like if you can get me revolver i'll i'll do uh i'll do a, a significant order uh, all righty i can get on that right away then well you don't have uh anything to worry about in regards to uh, your identity being uh, exposed i do appreciate that very much oh yeah no that's uh that's standard devlin and grain operations Never i assumed if you were frankie's son you would exactly oh yeah nice right. um all right fantastic well i look forward to tomorrow then all righty i will see you then all righty take care take care now partner all righty so i think that's gonna be about it for today's episode we uh finally got a lot done we're finally getting our horse bread i'm sorry that took so long uh we just talked to him and it looks like we might be able to be making some sales very soon of the ammo and possibly some new kinds of ammo we're gonna start importing as uh, we've only been importing pretty much the two most popular ones just to be able to of course be able to consistently sell them uh so hopefully in the next episode we are going to be getting our horse back we're going to be seeing what kind of baby we got if it is that hungarian which hopefully it is or the gypsy cob and of course we're going to hopefully be making some deals of this fellow and setting up some new clients for the ammo business so quite the productive episode uh but i think it's gonna be about it if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video